Before we get into this video, I want to thank a loyal subscriber for bringing this to my attention. It means a lot to me that many of you take the time to contact me with information that you find important. I've heard of Ashan Ayu Davis case a while back, and when I looked at it again, I immediately felt a wave of concern wash over me for Summer Wells. I am not trying to convince anyone that this happened to Summer, but there are some similarities that are striking and worrying to say the least. Before we listen to the 911 call, let me give you a bit of background on Shan Ayu Davis. On November 10th, Antoinette Davis, who is Shan Ayu's mother, called 911 to report Shan Ayu missing from her Fayetteville, North Carolina home. Later that morning, a surveillance camera in a hotel 30 miles away showed a man carrying a girl matching Shan Ayu's description. A hotel worker notified police, but the man and child left by the time authorities arrived. Police identified the man as Mario Andred McNeil, who has a history of violent crime. As the investigation continued, hundreds of volunteers joined the search for Shan Aya and her father, Bradley Lockhart, made an emotional plea for his daughter's return. On November 13, McNeil turned himself in, and police charged him with first-degree kidnapping. The next day, police made a shocking revelation, Davis allegedly sold her daughter as a slave. She was arrested and charged with human trafficking and felony child abuse. On November 16, every parent's worst nightmare came true for Bradley. Shan Ayu was found dead, near a rural North Carolina highway. Since the discovery of her body, McNeil has also been charged with first-degree murder and first-degree assault of a child. He has not entered a plea. Prosecutors said Davis handed the child over for $200 to settle a drug debt. Antoinette Davis is currently serving a sentence of at least 17 years in prison. McNeil is currently on death row. I'm going to play the 911 call now. Play careful attention to how Antoinette describes how Shan Ayu vanished, knowing exactly where she is. She also didn't know her weight and emphasized that she searched everywhere. Take a listen and drop your comments below. 911, where's your emergency? Yes, ma'am. My name is Antoinette Davis. Hey, let me see you see. Hey, excuse me. Hello. Ma'am. My name is Antoinette Davis. It's 1116. Hey, excuse me. Hello. Okay, I'm not getting your address clearly. Can you slow down a little bit and tell me again? 1116. Hey, excuse me. Hello. 1116A. 16. 16. One six. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay ma'am. How can I help you? I woke up this morning and my daughter was not in the house. I don't know if she walked out. Or I don't know what's going on, but she's not here. How old is your daughter? She's five. Five? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What time did you wake up? When did you last see her? I saw her uh, at 5.30 last night. 5.30 last night. Is that when you put her to bed? Yes, ma'am. No, when she went back to bed. Okay. That was five this morning. Is that what you're yes, telling me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, were there any doors open or anything like that? She know how to unlock the front door. Okay. What is her name? Shania Davis. Spell that name for me. S-H-A-N-I-Y-A. And she white, black, or Hispanic? She's mixed. Okay. She's biracial. What was she wearing? She's wearing just a blue, big old blue, a blue shirt with designs on the front, but her hair is out. Okay. Did she have on um, any she pants? Didn't have, she didn't take no shoes, no pants, no nothing. She Did she have on underwear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What Do you know what color? They're white and got pink. I guess I, I can't. I can't really remember. They're like white with pink designs on them. Okay. Okay. And you said none of the doors were open. No, ma'am. There were locked, but she knows how to unlock the front door. Was it closed this yes, morning? Yes, ma'am. And you said it was around five thirty. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have you checked the neighborhood? I checked everywhere. Okay. I haven't checked the back end of the neighborhood yet, but I checked the front end. I'm just. I don't know what else to do. I'm so. I'm. I don't know what else to do. Are there any more uh, juveniles inside the home? It's my son, but he's here. Okay. And your door was not unlocked. That's what you're telling me. No, it was not unlocked, but okay. I'm telling you she knows how to unlock it. I'm hoping that she didn't unlock it and walk out. Okay. What's the number you're calling me from, ma'am? Okay, we already got your call and we're going to get someone out. You said her ha her hair was out. Yes, it's okay. like a bushy afro. How much does she weigh, do you know? I don't know, ma'am. I don't remember. Okay. All right, ma'am. Um, just try to, you know, check your home again and check around the neighborhood. If anything changes, call us back. But we already got the call in, and we're going to get someone out as soon as we can, okay? All right, right ma'am. Thank you.